Welcome to learn how to paint in acrylics. My name is Michael Pickett and I'll be your instructor. Today's lesson will be a lighthouse. It'll be the Umpqua River Lighthouse in Winchester and uh, we're going to have a lot of fun with this one. That's the lighthouse directly behind me. Let's go to my studio and I'll show you how it's done. Here at my studio, the drawing of the lighthouse is all finished. Now we're going to apply Brilliant Blue with water to create a wash. We're using our number 10 brush. We're going to cover that whole canvas. Now we're going to take our sock and we're going to wipe away the paint, leaving the pencil show through. There we go. Now we're going to paint in the sky. We're going to use our number 10 brush. We're going to start out with our blue and then we're going to fill in the top now that that's all filled in we're going to add white and we're going to make the outline of the clouds and we're going to add some white in with the blue on the top kind of blend as we go some more white on the right side Add more white. We're going to put in some nice fluffy cloud. And now we're going to add a few clouds on the right. We need to get that filled in. Now we'll take some water into our 10 brush. We're going to blend the blue with the white make it nice and soft. Now we'll take our sock and we'll just dab that extra water out of there. Now we'll take the sock and we'll dab it into the white and we'll dab it up and down real fast creating some more clouds. You see how that's working? The sock works really good for just about everything and especially clouds gives a nice little effect. Now we'll get our brilliant blue a little more into the sky. We'll work on the roof using our zero brush, red, white, and black. We'll apply our red first.
and then taking our black and using that as a shadow. Now we'll take a touch of white, the reflected light off the shiny surface of the roof. There we go. Okay, now we're going to take our green, our hooker's green, and we're going to paint in the underside of the roof. We'll frame it in. Now we'll add a little bit of white into our green. And that's a reflected light. That makes it look round. A little bit of hooker's green on the end. Now we'll take our zero brush with hooker's green and we'll outline the frame of the windows. Then we'll put in the ledge. we we'll add a little bit of light off the green to make it look round. Now we'll do some touch up on the roof. We'll add a little bit of white in with the red and we'll fill it in. We'll take our red and our black together and we'll create the shadow behind our lens. We'll take red and white and we'll put in our lens. We want to create the illusion of a diamond shape. So we're going to darken the top, a little more black and with a red, and create a diamond. Kind of a round diamond. And we'll highlight the frames Now we're going to take our hooker's green and we're going to darken the frame over the top of the lens. When it comes time to put the windows in, we'll just add a little more windows and create a little more frames and to fill it in to make it look really nice. Now we'll take our white with a little more water, kind of a wash, and we'll just go up and down. 
one side brighter than the other and you see we're adding more glass panes than there was originally before we're going to add some shadows to it you see how that looks like glass Now we'll take our hooker's green and put in the frames of the windows. There we go. Do a little bit of touch up of the light itself in behind the window. Bring that out just a little bit. We'll mix our blue, white, and burnt sienna together to create the shadow of the lighthouse. And we'll also touch up on the green. There we go. Now we'll go back to the shading of the side of the lighthouse. Again, with the mixing the blue and the white and the burnt sienna together to shadow the side of the lighthouse. And we'll get that framed in. Let's kind of touch up with the green as you go. Now we'll add in our decoration underneath the ledge. What we want to do is mix our blue and our white together, put in the decoration. Now we're going to mix our yellow and white and we're going to put in the reflected sunlight. You see how that looks? We're going to go ahead and shadow underneath the windows of the lighthouse. And then we're going to do some touch-up. Go up to the top. We'll work on the windows just a little bit. Now we'll zoom it down to where you can see the full lighthouse. We're going to mix the blue, white, and burnt sienna together to shadow the side of the lighthouse using our number two brush. We'll be able to fill it in faster. And now that it's filled in, the side of the lighthouse that the sun is reflecting on will take white with just a touch of yellow and our number two brush and we'll fill it in. we'll take our zero brush and outline the window on our top with our yellow and white. 
and get that all placed in there. We'll just do some more blending. And now we'll add some sunlight onto the buildings behind the lighthouse. A little bit of sunlight on the side there. And now we'll work on the window. We'll add some detail in the window. with a combination of blue and burnt sienna with a little bit of white in it uh, we'll create the shadow there for the window lighten it up just a little bit then we're going to shadow the top part Now we're going to work on the windows on the shadowed side of the lighthouse. Now we're going to take our hooker's green and we're going to put the rail in on the top ledge. We're going to frame in the side of the lighthouse with hooker's green. I'm going to detail the windows on the shadowed side using white, blue, black, with our zero brush. Outline the window on the top with a little bit of white and blue. Now you're working in the shadows so you don't want anything really bright. So you're going to Add some of your black in with your blue and your white to create your shadows. We're going to add some black within the window itself to just set it back. Now we're going to take a little bit of white and we're going to highlight different parts of the window. I'm going to detail the window. There you go, and a little bit more reflected light on the side of the window, and put in the decorations. And 
we'll take our number two brush, you know, with our blue and burnt sienna together, just a touch of white. We're going to fill in some of the shadow. Put a white to our zero brush, and we're going to do some blending. The two stripes of trim on the bottom of the lighthouse we want to paint in with our hooker's green. Now I want to take some white and mix in with our hooker's green. And we're going to highlight the trim on the sunny side of the lighthouse. Now we'll work on the buildings in the background. Yeah, we'll paint in the trim below the roof. We'll use a touch of black and red and just a touch of white. Now we're going to work on the side of the buildings. We're going to shadow it in between the buildings and the lighthouse and to fill it in around the window. As that's filled in and shadowed, then we'll work on the roof just a little bit. Add a little more red and some white. Add a little more highlight. Now we'll work on the side of the building where the door is. more highlight on the green trim on the lighthouse than on the roof. We're going to frame in the side of the lighthouse with hooker's green and use your zero brush. And get that filled in. It'll give a nice clean edge. Okay, use your fan brush and hooker's green for the trees in the background. See how that works? Add some more trees back there in front of the clouds. Okay, go ahead and fill it around the bottom. There we go. A tiny bit of black with water to your number two brush and we'll just shadow in the top. We 
We're going to detail the trees with our zero brush and hooker's green. Because at the top of your trees are pointing towards the sky, and as a tree gets older, well, the gravity pulls down on the limbs and creates the limbs to go towards the ground. Detail more trees on the side and add them in. There we go. Okay, go ahead and let it dry. Now that it's dry, we'll apply the whitewash to the background only. Now we'll take our sock and we'll dab that white off, but that will create the optical illusion of distance. Now we'll take our fan brush with hooker's green and we'll put in a couple of trees on the side. Now we'll use our number 10 brush and our fan brush in combination. First of all our fan brush. Now we'll use our number 10 brush and then we'll dab it in. Now we'll take our zero brush and we'll fling some of that paint up into grass. Now we'll take our fan brush with some yellow, green, and white. And we'll just kind of fill it in. A little hooker screen in there for the shadow. And you add a little more white and yellow. More yellow. When you get all that done, you want to put a splash of blue and red in there for flowers. But now that's done, all you have to do is sign your work. Just paint the edges of your painting black so you can hang it on the wall without a frame. There we go. There's the Umpaw River Lighthouse. Hello, we're back. That's how you do a painting of the Umpaw River Lighthouse. Now until next time, have a great day. Happy painting. Bye.